Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to hide your kids and wives for this one because we're gonna go super deep in the woods tonight. Yay! Like the video if you like it, subscribe if you're brand new. Shout out to Mystery Man. Roll it. In 2010, a group of friends were camping and exploring the woods at night to photograph paranormal orbs. Uh -huh. They took pictures of each other and the surroundings. Upon reviewing the photos later, one image stood out. Oh crap. You can yeah, see a hand, hand wrapped around a tree with what looked like a humanoid head hiding behind it. None of the friends noticed anything strange or heard unusual sounds during their outing. Mm -hmm. Although they all returned safely, the mystery remains. Could something still be in those woods? There are so many stories like that. I, I just wonder, like, are these like actually people or like these are creatures? that look like human. What are your thoughts this on it? This camera was enjoying his secluded campsite, surrounded by a dense forest. At 10 p.m., he prepares for bed in his sleeping bag, putting on thermals to stay warm. Okay. As he settles in, this happens. Uh oh. He's in Chicago, obviously, so it would be nice. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, tranquilo, papi. Your papi, what chill, the hell papi. was that? What? Tranquilo, tranquilo. Brothers Wild, okay, that's his channel. The man decides it's best to leave. While trying to escape through the mud, he gets stuck and disorientated. I just, I got stuck. Holy. In quick mud. Fuck me. Oh, the panic is unreal. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I'm high, yeah. but I'm excited for the video, but man, I feel bad. Flooded. I don't know I'm gonna get out. But here's the thing though, this happened in the past and the cameraman never dies, so you know what? I think we're right, guys. It's fine. How deep is it? Not that deep, brother. Just jump oh, in there. Oh, Honestly, shit. man, this is insane. He realizes the river has flooded, forcing him to wade through the freezing water. After struggling, he manages to escape, but the experience leaves him shaken. Yeah. I seen and heard something in that fucking tent. That I believe the scariest you. thing, and then I was trying to get out, go down the forest, and I heard something say something again. Clear as day. And I yeah. got sick in all the mud. Damn. Oh, that's the scariest thing I've ever been. Yeah, like, no, nah, no, nah, I feel him, I feel him. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, there are just so many cases where... A family was camping in the woods when they sensed they were being stalked. Black figure? That's when they spotted this. Yeah. That gotta be Voldemort though. Right there. So this is from a YouTube channel by the name of Bigfoot's Testimony. Oh, is that? Where did it go from a Maybe it's just tweakers. He is down on his knees. A dark figure hidden behind a tree, watching them closely. Mm. At first, it might look like a bear but its thin shape and eerie stillness tell a different story. Yep. How the situation ended and what this thing was remains a mystery. A family member of this Reddit user tried to take a nice picture of a deer outside their cabin in the woods. Scary However, face. the live photo revealed more Shit. than just a deer. What the hell? On the right side, a dark shadow appeared to be holding a child. This unsettling sight added to the family's concerns about the cabin, oh. which at once I see like two faces there, and those faces are bigger than the deer itself. Been owned by a man who passed away there. The family member had frequently mentioned hearing strange noises from the attic, and after this eerie encounter, they decided it was best to leave. Mm. A father and son were enjoying their camping trip when they spotted a fire in the distance. Uh -oh. As panic set in, they quickly packed their bags and raced down a narrow road through the dense forest. Oh, uh, for a second, seeing that video, I thought like they fired like a grenade launcher or something. I don't know why I thought that. Only to realize the wildfire was blocking the only way out. They had to reverse all the way back to the trailhead. Yo, I remember lucky this. To flag down a boat. The son said he and his father were rescued by two park rangers after abandoning their vehicle. Yo, I remember this clip. It did go viral. The campers were looking for a nice camping shit. spot when they stumbled upon a strange sight. Oh shit! Murder scene. Well, it's definitely like a bitch. Oh, it might be Dexter. 
maybe where the stains are. Oh, it might be Dexter's. I still have been digging. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? That's not the best one's looking, isn't it? To be honest, Ryan, I don't really think we should be here anymore. It looks like another little cell. Another cell? Yeah, a little bizarre. I feel like we've um, stumbled on something we weren't supposed to, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run. A hidden spot filled with suspicious knives and burial sites. The urge to leave becomes overwhelming as the unsettling feeling grows. They eventually decide to spend the night elsewhere. Uh, understandably, His I mean... family was enjoying a road trip. As the young girl gazes out from the car window, she suddenly notices something strange. Mom, look how pretty the sunset is. It's not going to be too pretty for too long, sweetie. Or it's not going to be pretty for too long, sweetie. What the... Hey, 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 hey. Where? Where? Okay, what is going on? These lights? Oh, no, these are reflections. What was that? Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Tranquilo, tranquilo. What was that? Yeah. A dark figure can be seen in a grassy field. At first, it looks like it could be an animal, or maybe a person, but its size and stance make it hard to identify. Seems like a human just chilling, like a bozo maybe, maybe this a bonehead. This person decided to camp in an abandoned village where she stumbled upon something chilling. A group of people- I don't even know what's a bonehead, but- All dressed in white, silently wandering through the empty streets with torches hell? in hand. What the hell? No one knows what's really happening here. What is going Some on? Some viewers say it looks like a movie set, while others are convinced it's a cult ritual. Yeah. The footage, shared on TikTok by at Daniela Duke, left many unsettled. Daniela herself mentioned that this encounter changed her life forever. I mean, any it would change anybody's life. It seems like that, you know, that owl worshipping owl ritual kind of, you know, there were videos leaked. It reminds me of that. I, I'm forgetting the name of the... This area. footage shared on Reddit shows a biker racing down a narrow jungle trail filled with challenging obstacles. As he speeds through the dense woods, he narrowly avoids a fatal accident. Oh, oh man, I hate these. Why? E. Holy crap. <sighs> oh, what a save. He almost hit two girls who were sitting on the trail. The uninspected encounter catches the biker off guard. Thankfully, he manages to steer clear, turning a potentially dangerous situation into a close call. Oh, God bless. A group of explorers journeyed to the ancient mountains of Juan Cavalicia, searching for a forgotten secret. As they ventured deeper, they stumbled upon something chilling, hidden Whoa, who in are rocks. These? Who are these people, man? Okay, listo. Miren, acabo de bajar. Mira, mira. Y lo okay. primero que veo Tranquilo. son sombrillas. No, mira. Telares Tranquilo. por montón. Esos son telares, parecen yute. Cuerdas bien gruesas, miren ahí. Y miren esto. He's saying that you guys gotta like and subscribe immediately. Wow, hay una cantidad enorme de cráneos, miren. Oh, acá hay uno. Oh, aquí hay so más. The skull, bones, y aquí hay so muchos many más. Skulls. Elongated so skulls resting in dark, narrow chambers surrounded by ancient ropes and bones. Legend spoke of a mysterious race known only as the Gentiles, but no one knows who or what. Let me show you guys the picture for sure. Chambers surrounded by ancient ropes and bones. Legend spoke of a mysterious race known only as the Gentiles. Yeah, right, like, imagine. And. People always assume that this has to be a skull of an alien. I mean, listen, I was not there. I don't know either. Maybe it is or maybe it's not. Maybe it's, uh, maybe humans' uh, skulls were like that back in the days. Or maybe some people probably, I guess I'm assuming deformities happen, right? So structure uh, 
I, I guess some people are gonna have deformities like that with that sort of structure. Teals, but no one knows who or what they really were. What remains buried in these remote tombs? And why were their heads so strange? Perhaps this is a mystery we're not meant to solve. There's a crack on the skull. Perhaps that's After how- After hearing- Perhaps somebody like, like smashed them with a hammer and that's how they died. Strange noises, these campers spotted something downright terrifying near their campsite. In the footage, oh, these a strange figure is seen crouched over with a human like appearance but seemingly unclothed. Some viewers suggest it could be a or maybe it was actually a human without any clothes and that's why he was like running to hide himself because you guys are like screaming you guys are pointing lights cameras at him he don't want to end up on tiktok he don't want to end up on the internet like that so yeah anybody anybody would be running a supernatural I'm creature joking, but while others speculate it could just be a human under the influence of something unusual it does not look like a this human footage to be, uh, shared by It's close, but no. The Reddit user Waldenville captured something unsettling. Yeah. That's like people after Taco Bell, you know? When you have too much Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh man. A terrifying scream echoed through a secluded Canadian forest. Many viewers speculate that the screams might be from Bigfoot. What could be hiding in the shadows of this seemingly peaceful area? Seemingly peaceful. Three huh? boys are seen playing in a park. Holy, already seemed fine until they reviewed the footage later. Behind them, An right? Settling yeah. figure was lurking nearby a tree. As the video progresses, the figure reappears distantly, still hidden among the trees, and can be spotted later again in the footage. But why? Who or what is watching these boys? Yeah, that's hella creepy. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill, bro, chill. I already am subscribed, bro. Damn. If you guys are brand new, definitely subscribe. Two brothers went wild camping and swimming when something strange happened at night. That While looked like Mr. Bonfire, Beast. Fire, they decided to stay up a bit longer, thinking no one would bother them when suddenly this happens. They were proven wrong immediately. <sighs> nice fire there, innit? Mm hmm. Look there, bro. What's up with that? Huh? What's up there? Oh, shit. Oh, what happened? Run, 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 run. Ah! What they happened, notice though? a shadow lurking in the trees, watching them. Later that night, they told exactly what happened. Listen, I don't know why we're running, but if we're running, we're running, okay? Like, they started running, and I don't want to be left alone, so that's why I started running, guys. I, but I don't know why they were running. All right, guys. Let's I'm see why they... Uh, why we're get running? Get out of there. Uh, the guy that we... It's about 11 p.m. It's pretty late, but we stayed there. The guy... Yeah, basically, the guy who was... Who came by us with the dog. Okay, the car's gotta chill, bro. Like, damn. But basically, the guy who was... He was talking a bit weird. A bit, I don't know. He was, he was talking, talking about, about diamonds. dinosaurs. He was talking about, like, all these weird conspiracies. He was... He said there was people in the woods. People in the woods, static energy, all this stuff, and... Yeah, just typical stuff that you'd think someone mad, but some of the stuff he said sounded. I kind of understood it. Yeah, so we so didn't really know what to make of him. He was he was half there, half not. It was weird. We were really un, weird. we were really unnerved for a bit. What we thought, oh fuck it, we'll carry on. But then, lo and behold, we're sitting there now. No phones, right? We turn our phones fires off. On. Fires on. We're drinking whiskey, chilling out. We're thinking, oh, in an hour's time, we'll get some sleep. Yeah, get our heads yeah. down. But then. I started filming a video. He, he was filming a video and there was a shadow, right? And we thought, 
now, no way, right? And this, there was somebody there, sitting standing there. there, or sitting there. What was he doing? Like, by out. the trees, anyway, crouched down, watching, watching us. us. And he, it, it it must, I don't know how long he was there. It had to be that guy. It couldn't be nothing else. It had to be that guy because we're not scared of anything like. This. I was like, now, but it, it was some. It, it was probably him. He was just literally crouched down about twenty meters away, probably a little bit less, and he just, was just stared. staring at us. This mm. unsettling encounter made them prioritize safety over fun. Yeah, like I was saying, there's just so many cases like that. I've heard so many stories on Mr. Bellin as well, where similar situations. It's like you, YouTubers would go like in woods and they would be in their like little bunkers, their camp or whatever you want to call them, or the word their tents, right? And they would hear footsteps all around them. Somebody's walking around. Are those like people trying to just scare them? Are, are those people just trying to scare or are these like actual creatures that want something out of you or that want to attack you? It's uh, it's hard to say, man. You know, it's, This uh, photo it really was taken hard. by campers in Bolivia. At first, the image looks like a beautiful view of the landscape. However, something strange can be noticed on the other side of the lake. If you look closely, you can see a semi-transparent creature walking along the water's edge. Aliens. It appears semi-transparent and doesn't cast a reflection in the water. Damn, let me pause that real quick. It does look like an alien, actually. Transparent, some... You, you know, there have been conspiracies that they uh, possess the ability of, like, cloaking abilities, right? But we heard that as a conspiracy to, uh, for, like, UFOs, that there are UFOs with cloaking abilities. Not saying it's true, but it's like there are conspiracies reported on that. But never heard of uh, cloaking aliens or creatures like that. Water. Is it a ghost? A group was camping near a dark pond deep within an eerie forest Humanoid. when suddenly a terrifying figure emerged from the shadows. Well, I remember. No one understood what they saw and where it came from. At first While I thought a wrong with hunts, this man's dog suddenly becomes anxious, sensing something unusual nearby. Lion As the dog's unease grows, this happens. I've been out here walking my dog for a minute, and I really... No, no, it's okay, boy. He, he spooked about something. Something's been following us. And it... I can just... Yeah. No, boy. Come on. It's okay, come on. It's okay, come bro. On. It's okay. Come on. No, no, boy. No. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. A lion cub stealthily followed them. The owner, alarmed, quickly follows his dog. Yeah, bro, you always follow your dog instincts, right? And also the fact that there is like a lion baby there, lion cub, that means that lion mama is near too, man. I'm just saying, or the lion daddy is near too, so you gotta get that F out. Both of them feeling the adrenaline rush as they escape the unexpected threat. In the dead of night, a lone camper finds himself in a secluded stretch of the woods. Steering As us. he ventures deeper, an unsettling sensation washes over him. He feels as though he's being watched. Mm. Shining his flashlight into the darkness, he is taken aback by what he discovers. Shit, bro. Seems like a bear to me. But are, are, is he seeing those eyes that way or is it just like on camera? Oh, it's doing like gang signs, like hand signals. What the a hell? A strange black creature lurking in the shadows. The camper decided to quickly leave the forest and drive his van somewhere else. No, that's weird. That's weird A as YouTuber hell. named Blake M thinks he accidentally recorded a strange message while filming himself on the side of the road. Take a look. Strange message. Help me. A distant voice can be heard saying, help me, urgently. Now, it could have been added in during editing, or perhaps it was someone yelling from a passing car. Whatever it was, it sounds very unsettling. This YouTube channel focuses on the local legend of the Clover Forest creature. They decided to explore the woods where the last sighting of the creature was reported. Suddenly, they spot this. 
Yeah. Whoa! Get down! Oh my god! I think I've seen this. I think I've seen this. Whoa! No, keep your light on it. Keep your light on it. Holy shit! It's across the creek. Whoa! Those are eyes, right? A pair of eyes can be seen yeah. watching them from across a creek. The eyes disappear briefly and then reappear, suggesting that the creature might be blinking. Eventually, the creature moves away and isn't seen again. A tree was found deep in the forest, water gushing free. clear, fresh water from its trunk. The water coming out of a tree? Sheesh! Can a brother perhaps see the, the entrance, like the hole? Damn. Yeah, like how, how, like how? So it gotta be some sort of. This site was strange, especially since the surrounding area was dry and there hadn't been any rain for a while. This tree is an Indian laurel, or a Termalia tomentosa which can store water in its trunk. Even in dry spells, it can release water, acting like a natural reservoir. It is incredible how nature creates such systems, allowing trees like this to support life in the driest conditions. But finding something like this without understanding its science could be unsettling. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not rainwater, This security but... footage from a camping ground captured something rather sinister. A zombie? A strange figure emerges from the darkness. Dressed in black, its glowing eyes create an unsettling and otherworldly appearance. Some think it's a wandering zombie, which might explain its clothing. Or maybe but a Karen? Think it could be a wandering Karen, maybe? Be something extraterrestrial. Or Aliens. maybe, just maybe, it's just a prank. Nah, why would that be a During prank? During a daytime camping trip, a group of campers discover something shocking. They stray from their usual trail and find a dark tunnel leading underground, where they see this. Oh. Old coffins covered in moss. These coffins look ancient, suggesting they hold secrets from the past. Mm. The campers can't help but wonder about the coffin's history. A YouTuber named Frollo Moto and his friend Trevor were riding in a random field when they noticed a black truck trying to block their path. GKS Rail? GKS Yeah. <laughs> truck yalla, yalla, yalla. Yeah. We can beat them. I love bikes, man. I love bikes. There we go. We got a truck. The driver is aggressive. But why? Clearly determined to force them off their bikes, showing little regard for. They must be beefing though. Like maybe like there's some gang stuff there. Like they 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 probably beefing though. But if it's like completely random, then I would be like, what the hell? Their safety. In a panic, they dart through the fields and make it back to the main road. At a stop sign, they quickly decide to head home, believing they have escaped the threat. Just believing. as they feel safe, they spot the truck again. Behind them or? Perfect, Yo, my guy wheeling though, he just got on the He's road. He's chasing us. Take the trail. Take the snowmobile trail. Okay? Let's go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Damn, shit. Okay. We we got got wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. Glancing back, Frollo Moto realizes the truck is too big to follow them through. Mm. For now, they are safe. But they worry that the driver might get out and track them back to their home. I love bikes, man. A thermal camera bikes. set up in the woods captured something disturbing in the middle of the night. No, that's just a large running. figure can be seen running with massive strides. According that's to the Karen. camera owner, the creature seems to be around seven to eight feet tall. He believes this could be evidence of the legendary Bigfoot. Given the creature's size, unusual movement, and the remote location, it's hard to dismiss the possibility. That looks like a Karen, not gonna lie. Exploring with Devon is a YouTube channel full of adventures and gaming videos. In this footage, Devon- I, I mean, on my main channel, I do do gaming, gaming videos too, so... Yikes. Devon is biking along the roadside when he notices an eerie old abandoned house that piques his curiosity. 
As he approaches, this happens. Oh, a man comes. What are you doing in here? I just wanted to explore. What are you feeling? No, I just uh, wanted to explore. Bro, just peace out. Just peace out. Yeah, run, 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 bro, run. Run, just a run. A man appears in the overgrown front yard, questioning Devon and accusing him of stealing from his property. For okay, thankfully, it's not as bad as I thought because I thought like he was somewhere like in a forest, like somewhere like that. But then as he turned around, we saw a road with so many like people and cars. So not that bad. Not that bad. The man eventually left him alone. Yeah, I thought it was like in the this middle of the woods. This camper chose one of the most dangerous spots imaginable for his trip. He pitched his tent near the edge of a massive, active volcano Crap. and captured this stunning footage. Crap, like that's, I guess, marvelous. That is marvelous. What are the odds? Guys, I want to show you this too. Check this. A chilling photo recently shared on Reddit shows a man being followed by a mysterious creature in a dense forest during daylight. Some believe the creature could be a dogman, a cryptid dog known man. for its frightening humanoid appearance with canine features. Others argue it might just be a large bear, which could appear similar from a certain angle. Either way, it is terrifying. Mm. In the dead of night, this camper experienced something truly terrifying. Looking out the window right now at two people in all black in hoods. They're uh, hiding under a security camera, like probably out of sight. And they've got a bag on the ground, like a. Yeah, I know those guys. Those probably are just there to steal crap. Big duffel or backpack or something. Yeah, they're robbers. And Definitely. I don't know if they're like doing a drug deal or if they've got tools in there and they're. Yo, what if that's like Gus from Breaking Bad? Two men dressed in black with their hoods pulled over their faces appeared. They stood right under a security camera, probably trying to stay hidden. Sunday not so hidden though, not so hidden. It looked like they went around that back corner of the building, but I don't really know. They might be coming the for you, bro. The camera tried to figure out what was happening. Ten minutes later, and they're back. And they're back. Maybe they're like, let's steal more, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just walking over here right oh now. shit, they're coming your way, huh, now? Oh bro, like you gotta peace bro, out. The There's one going over there. And the other one. Where is he at? Still over here. Is he in his car? Like, hiding? After about 10 minutes, the two figures showed up again one moving off in one direction and the other staying put. What these men were doing is still unknown. Probably like one went on a pee break or per perhaps like he was uh, having that just circle around and see if uh, anyone's there. In 2011, there. two campers experienced a chilling encounter in Colorado's wilderness. While enjoying a peaceful trek on a sunny day, they were suddenly startled by loud banging noises echoing around them. Yeah, that is bizarre. It's like somebody hitting something. Like maybe these one of these pillars, right? Somewhere. And now it echoes. Echo, echo, echo. The camper stopped and tried to find the source of the sounds, but it was impossible to locate. To make things even more eerie, shortly after these strange noises, a massive earthquake hit Colorado. Oh. People began to wonder if the two events were somehow connected. Yeah, 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 yeah. This woman and her Yeah, there's also like a thing, right? Uh, they say that you're gonna see like lights in the sky and they are perhaps linked with the uh, that's like a warning, pre-warning before earthquake. There is that thing. I'm not sure if you guys heard that too or not. Perhaps this is also a thing with it. 
husband were camping in Colorado at White Sacred Shell Mountain when a man started following them. Listen to her story. So we were driving in and it said it was a really large area. Um, right at the beginning, we saw this man set up. His car wasn't there at the time, so we didn't see anyone, but there were okay. two dogs just roaming the area. And because we have two big dogs and one is not friendly with dogs, we wanted to go as far as we w as far away as we could as possible. Um, there were another van and another RV, so we felt like it was safe and we proceeded on. Mm. We found a spot. Rookie mistake. That was far away from everyone and we couldn't see anyone in our distance. There were so many spots before the one we stopped at. We made dinner, fed the dogs, hung out for a little bit, and then decided to take the dogs to go to the bathroom. Mm. I got out and was surprised to see that this guy had moved his whole entire camp to a spot right next to us. And when I say <laughs> spot, this is just sand. I mean, we're just parked anywhere on the sand, kind of. There was so many areas and spots he could have chose before us and decided to go right he wanted to bond. He wanted to bond. By us. So I immediately told my husband I did not feel comfortable and that I wanted to leave. So we quietly packed up. We only have stuff inside, so it was easy. And we started to drive off. He proceeded to Follow? sprint and wave his arms, wave his arms. And obviously it looked like he was screaming or something. I don't know what his intentions were, but... I'm not gonna stick around. Nah, understandable, but I feel like he just wanted to bond. I mean, it's creepy, I'm joking around too, but uh... See? So, yeah, we just proceeded on and found a new spot very far away. So, yeah, that's what happened. We are well, very safe now. This was not... I guess in a situation like that, if even if your intentions are good, like, the other person is probably gonna be creeped out too, right? Like, that's fair. I guess if you wanna talk to someone in that aspect you just approach them and be like hey uh is it cool like if i you know put my bunker or my tent near you guys like uh, i'm alone here i just need company and if they let you then yeah that's different right but even i feel like nine out of ten times even if like people say yeah it's cool like bring your tent over deep down they're like no please don't do it <laughs> please don't do it please don't do it i guess that's how it is but yeah right like you're invading the privacy sir you're invading the privacy personal privacy uh but guys check out this video on the screen this is the last video that we've done if you love this you're gonna love this one this one is gonna get you baffled too just like this one and i'll see you right there